Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a project that I got into last year and it just had its token generation event. So there's a lot of things that are happening right now and I want to make sure I cover it as much as possible and provide an update. The project I'm talking about is called Sonic. Sonic is the very first SVM for Solana. Solana has already been very popular in the deep in space and a lot of meme tokens that are built on it. But what Sonic is doing with this Solana virtual machine is powering the Web3 TikTok app layer. They've already come out with a game. It's a pretty simple game and you're just tapping for points, but it's gaining a lot of traction and it's building a pretty big user base. They've actually just recently launched another game and I'll show you that in a little bit. But what I want to do is just give an update on what's actually happening with the project. Everything I'm about to show you, I'll make sure I link it down in the description below. The first thing I want to cover is the token generation event. So the token generation event just happened a couple weeks ago. I believe it was January 7th. If you had purchased one of the notes from the node sale, you would get an airdrop. Uh, this is going to be the website that you would go to. Um, I'll make sure I link everything in the description below, but you're going to connect the wallet that you have to this website and it'll let you know how many tokens are allocated for you. I'll give you an example of mine. I had posted this on X. So the allocation for me in the airdrop was 2,428 of the Sonic token. Now you can't claim it all immediately. What I could claim is 728.47. That's an instant claim. And the rest is going to be 1,699. So that's going to be the 60% that's going to be vested over a six month period. Uh, so that token generation event just happened right now. And six months from now, I'll gradually be able to get the rest of my tokens. So when you get your tokens, you can take it to an exchange and you can sell them off. Uh, they also have an option to stake. So the staking option is right over here. Again, I'll make sure I link this down below. The APR right now is at 16%. When they had first launched it, it was at 27%. So the more people that contribute to this, the lower the APR goes. Uh, but if you do have an allocation and you wanna make a return on that, this is an excellent opportunity for that. Again, nothing I'm saying is financial advice. I'm just laying out the options. As for the token itself, when it went live, it went live on quite a few different exchanges. Uh, so the centralized exchanges that it's available on is OKX, Bybit, BitGet, Upbit, which I'm going to be talking about in just a moment, KuCoin, Mexi, Mexi's exchange I often use, Gate.io, BingX, Truebit, Backpack, and HashKey Global. It's, it's also available on DEXs, which are pretty much the major ones right over here are Jupiter and Radium. They also have Meteoroa and Drift. Upbit has received a lot of controversy. This is a very big exchange in Korea. What they had to do is tighten regulations for any new entrants that come onto that exchange. The Sonic pair was just announced to be launched on that chain. The qualifications to get on this exchange is very rigid, so this is very positive. To make it on this exchange right now is a huge highlight, and it's a very big pro for the team. I'm just going to jump over to what the token is trading at right now. So this is on Mexi. Mexi has a lot of volume. That's why I like choosing uh, this exchange. Uh, right now, the token is at 52 cents. I'm just going to zoom out a bit here so you can see what's going on. And you can see that there is obviously a huge spike. When the airdrop happens, a lot of people are going to cash out. It was as high as almost $1.20. Uh, and it's come down and it seems like it's leveled out at about 52 cents. This is going to happen with any new token drop, especially when people are node buyers looking to get a return. They usually cash it out right away. I'm not too sure if the volatility is over, uh, but if you are going to be picking up the Sonic token, just be aware of that. So I'm sure you already heard about this. This is Trump's executive order to allow TikTok to exist in the U.S. Uh, he's extending the period of time before the sale has to happen. So this is a very big deal for the Sonic team because a lot of the apps that they're developing right now on the Solana blockchain are built for TikTok's app layer. So this is definitely big and it will continue to help the user growth. I thought I'd throw this in here as well. This is from Masari. In this article, they were talking about the biggest launches for layer two tokens by fully diluted value. And Sonic is actually in the top 10. And you can see that they're over here at the number nine with a value of $1.9 billion. So that's a lot of positive news if you're a holder of the token. If you're someone like me that purchased the node, there's also some good news for you. They've launched the dashboard for the alpha test. So this is an article that I'll again link down below. You can go ahead and delegate your node. And what I'll do is I'll actually delegate my node right now so you can see what's going on. Right over here, you can see that there's a link to go to the Hyperfuse Guardian node dashboard, which is gonna look like this. You have to connect the wallet that you purchased your node with. I'll do that in just a moment. There's also a link in here for the documentation. So you can go ahead and take a look at the requirements for these nodes. One key part of the documentation that you have to look at is over here for which platform can be used for the alpha test. If you scroll down a little bit over here, if you're using Chrome, 
there's an install app button that you'll see up here in the address bar. You wanna make sure that you enable this option right over here when you're installing it. I tried to just using it within the browser. I'm not really sure what the difference is, uh, but it didn't work unless I actually enabled that. Uh, so that's a key component. So I'm at the Node dashboard. I've connected my wallet. Over here at the top, you have the NFT overview. So these are the NFTs that you purchased for the Node. I have three available right now. I don't have any rewards because I haven't started running the Node. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set up a node right now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to delegate a node and then I'll show you how to run a node using their dashboard. I'm gonna go to the node community over here. So here we are at the node community. It wants to connect to my wallet. I'll go ahead and do that. So we're connected over here. And what I'm gonna do right now is I like to usually sort by uptime. So I'll do the seven daily uptime. Okay, so this one has 100% uptime. When you're delegating your node, you kind of wanna spread it out. But in this example, I'm just gonna be selecting the first one. Uh, we have an option to delegate or undelegate. I'm gonna click on delegate and you can go ahead and put in the nodes that you want. I'll delegate just one for now and then we'll click on delegate. So we've delegated a node. What we're gonna do is try running our own node. There's an option right over here that's called run node. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So we have a node address that's been assigned to us. This is a dummy address. We'll go ahead and click on next. Uh, this is where you're gonna be setting the node rate. Uh, I'll leave mine at default for this example. I'm gonna leave it at 5%. We're going to click on next and this is where you can choose how many nodes that you want to run i'll just click on one and then we'll go ahead and run it so i'm going to click on approve and there you go so now i have two of my nfts now delegated you can see that i'm running a node over here and i'm delegating one down here at the bottom over time i should be earning some of the testnet rewards which should be showing up here at the top and one last thing i wanted to show you was the sonic app itself so i'm just going to pop it up here on the screen this is my phone uh, so this is the tap game that you can go ahead and use. So this is built using the Solana virtual machine. Um, if you go over into the game section, right over here at the game center, you can see that they've released a few other games. During my first update, I was taking a look at the game center and there was only one, which is Sonic Odyssey. That was the one that was released by the team. But as you can see in here, more games are coming out and it looks like more games will be launched. Uh, now there's four. They now have Faux Money, Mahjong 1, 2, 3, and Hunting Field. I haven't tried out any of these new games, so I'll probably go ahead and just mess around and rack up some points that way. So that's what's happening right now with Sonic SVM. Uh, that's an update for the project itself, an update for the nodes. So the nodes are now in testnet. You can go ahead and try that out. I know a lot of you are anxious for that. I'll be doing another video once those mainnet nodes have been launched and I'll make a guide for that. So that's all the information I have for Sonic. I hope you found this update useful. Please smash the like button if you did. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.